Hello, welcome to the second video out of the three to get ready for the event on how to handle a PowerPoint corporate template professionally. First of all, I wanted to thank you all guys for all the comments and the answers to the survey, which are helping me very much to craft these tutorials based on your needs. My name is Maurizio Lacava. I am the founder of the Lean Presentation Design and I'm going to help you to craft impactful presentations in half the time. In the first video, we discussed how you can use the corporate template and quickly apply it to completely transform few slides. We did transform a title slide and we transformed a wall of text. So a bullet point with a lot of text, we did transform it in, in a few clicks. If you haven't watched the first video, my recommendation is go back on the page of the event and watch the previous video before this one. If the corporate template is ready, it's easy to just apply it to some layout. We have seen it in the previous video. But what if you don't have these corporate layouts or you want eventually to build these uh, custom layouts in PowerPoint? In this second video, we're going to see how to build custom layouts. Specifically, we will start from the layouts we used in the first video. Come with me, let's go to PowerPoint. In the first uh, video, we had one slide for the title that we transformed into a visual slide with this big picture. And then we had the second slide with the wall of text. This is how we call it that we transformed into a much more visual layout thanks to the use of icons and the, these great layout. Now, let's see how these layouts are built. First of all, we need to enter the Slide Master. To enter the Slide Master, you go View, you go Slide Master. Well, at least this is the way people get into the Slide Master. But the way I like to get into that is through this shortcut. If you go to the normal button down here, you press Shift and then you click it, you jump straight away into the Slide Master. That's why somebody used to call it the Slide Master Jump. As well as you click without Shift, you will get out from the Slide Master. How do you know you are in the Slide Master? It's very simple. When you're not, the first tab top left is the menu Home. But when you are in the Slide Master, the first menu top left is Slide Master, which of course gives you access to all the functions within the Slide Master that are available only within the Slide Master. This is a good trick to always know where you are. Right. We see that we have two themes. This is one theme and this is another theme. Theme one, theme two. Our layouts are contained into the second theme. We want to work on the title layout first. If you look how it is built, it's not complex to replicate. Let's do it from scratch together. The first thing I want to adjust is the title.
once you select it, it will be applied. Now, these are placeholders, therefore I can insert a subtitle here as well as I can type a title here. This is uh, an image, so all I want to do is go to MLC, Graphic Libraries, I will select an image and I will just input it. Here we go. Now, as you can see, I have the subject on this side. I want it to the other side. So all I need to do is just flip it and it will just work. If you want to add more transparency to it, all you have to do is just create a layer, black, make it the same size of the image within the layers pane and just make sure that it doesn't hide the text and then I will give it transparency. Here we go. I can even create a gradient for the transparency and I can remove, I can give maximum transparency to here, 50% here. And as you can see, transparency allows the text to contrast and to be read easier. Okay, cool. So this would be one of the layouts. Now, how do we create the second one? The second one is a bit more complex, but let's go to Design Master and let's check it out together. We have a few placeholders, but those are placeholder text. And this is a placeholder title and the subtitle. So we have some text. These are just text, part of the template. I will copy them. This is my title, okay. I will give it um, a background. It was green, let's make it blue, for example. Now, time for the subtitle, which will go here. For consistency, I will make this the same blue of the box below. And now all I have to do is create these text boxes. Those are not just simple text boxes because we want people to be able to insert information into them. And therefore, I'm going to create them as placeholders here. Okay, too big, less text, control E to center the text. I will make it blue, maybe bold, maybe a little bigger. And then I will have a smaller text down here, not bold. Then I also add some little circles. Remember when you design a circle, just control shift it and here we go. Okay, I will apply a light gray outline just to make it visible as a reference. Once I generate one, all I have to do is duplicate it, control shift, control Y and control Y. And as you can see, they are properly positioned. Now I might want to Take this a little bit further so that now they are all well distributed. Now I leave the slide master, create a new slide, right click, layout, apply the new layout that we have just created. Here I can write the subtitle, here I can write the title, here I can write some text, easy, and I can also insert my icons. I will just pick some random icons for you to see the effect. This might be one, this might be two. Here we go, three. Let's pick something fancy, this one. Here we go. I'll align them, make them blue. And here it is, the second layout. So in this video, we have seen how to create custom layouts, how to jump into the Slide Master with the shortcut Slide Master Jump, how to use placeholders to create uh, dynamic text boxes or images where the users can fill information. And so this allows you to concretely create layouts. As always, super important, leave me your comments down below in this video. So I'm really looking forward to your comments and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!